Hi guys, my name is Meads. This is going to be a review for Figma 246A and B. We have Chestnut and the white version of the two horses. And I'm really excited for this one. For one, they've claimed this is the first Figma made in Japan. <laughs> and for another, uh, these are great, uh, like an addition to a lot of uh, Figma characters. Like a lot of anime characters or even game characters use this horse. Uh, this great for Link as well as Attack on Titans. Yeah, finally we have a horse to go along with them. Although some people think that having this is kind of like more of an accessory and add-on, but if you think about it, this is a huge figure. Uh, comparison, here's Link. Yeah, that's a lot of figure there. And price point, I got them for about four thousand yen each. And considering that one, also I think you can only get it through the online store. But it's free shipping. So for 4,000 yen, free shipping, that's actually not, not bad for the price. Yeah. And I'm actually quite happy that I managed to get a, uh, get a couple of them. So here we go, here's the box art. Start with the white one. On the back here it gives you a little bit more details. And just on the top part, you get the picture of the horse. <laughs> And uh, same thing with that uh, chestnut here. Yep, really nice. Now my question is, I'm kind of curious if we can remove the saddle. From the images, they have not post. And more than likely, it's going to be molding on the body. So Which, which kind of sucks, but at the same time... Yeah, for the most part, we're gonna be using this to to have a, another or a rider. Well, yeah, <laughs> someone riding it basically. Anyways, that's it for the box. Let's take a look inside. All right, so uh, let's first measure how tall the horses are. So uh, it's about six inch uh, up to the head or the ears. It's about let's see how long they are. From the base of the tail to the nose, it is about six and three fourths. Well, depending on how far you have the nose pointed out, but it's about six by six. Yep, it's a good size. <laughs> and uh, again, for size reference, we have Link here. Happy to start. Oh, we'll mount the uh, him uh, in a bit. All right. So uh, in terms of accessories get that out of the way I mean we have instructions here tells you to use a screwdriver when you're tightening the joints and uh, you have instructions uh, both in Japanese and English it tells us um, how to attach I kind of forgot what we call that but uh, it's basically for the foot it's adjustable it's kind of interesting how they did that which is great And I think, uh, even instruction, this is for chestnut. It's a little different too. Huh. <laughs> I would think they would just use a generic one, but it is different. Also, we're getting Figma base here. And it's just here. It actually says made in Japan, Max Factory. That's really nice. And uh, this is great, especially when, uh, just get this on here. This is great, especially when we have the horses standing up with uh, on their hind legs. So we get that as well as uh, different connector points. We have an angled one and a 90 degree. And this doesn't come with a Figma, the Ziploc um, bag. I don't think we need that, but <laughs> and we have the strap here, which we'll go over in a bit. But first, let's take a look at articulation, and let's go over there. All right, we have chestnut here. Let's start with the face. Yeah, about black eyes. I don't think there's any um, details. It would be cool if you actually can see the people and stuff like that, but it's just a uh, high gloss black. 
then otherwise you have the matte finish really cool I don't think you can remove this main it's molded in <laughs> it'd be cool if you could swap those uh, you got the neck here you got the tip of the head it does use uh, Figma joints over there you can technically replace it but you're gonna have a weird looking horse you sw start swapping them out then you have the harness here it's made of a uh, cloth it's really nice it's kind of soft too <laughs> then you have the front legs here we can see the joints and it seems like this got pushed in it's a bit of a it's not flush. <laughs> there we go. Quite nice. And you have the whole body here. And uh, this is part where the saddles connects later on. Or the foot straps. I mean. You can get the tail. You do have a connection point right there. <laughs> right on the butt. Yep. And you also have one on the other side. And you got this giant uh, hind legs with the Figma joint. Yeah, it's probably not gonna show well on the camera, but right there, it's one of the disc type, like typically seen on the knees. Or actually, it's kinda like this, yep. On this one, they're not, or they didn't give any spare joints since you're not gonna be swapping out as if uh, in the wrist they surely give you an extra but yeah uh, it's great you got that article actually you can fully rotate this you can spread it uh, that far not so much although I kind of find uh, the knees here well actually for the white one a little uh, weak it tends to bend hmm well, that's it for Chestnut. Let's take a look at the white version. Or white. It's pretty much, um, it's gonna be the same. Alright, here we go. I really like how they uh, did the paint on this one. Like the nose. Like a subtle uh, shading. Really nice. They yeah, it's kind of like the same thing for chestnut also. Same with the eyes, it's a high gloss black. Then you have the mane here. Yep. So this one, yeah, it does tend to... It's kind of loose. I wonder if I can uh, tighten that. Same on the other side connection point here same harness that soft material yep same connection point on the butt <laughs> yeah this is great I mean, in terms of a uh, limitation on the articulation of the horse you know for the most part uh, that's it yeah really cool Alright, um, I think that's pretty much it. Uh, let's uh, try uh, different figures and see how that works out. Alright, I actually forgot to put this, the foot harness. So, that's, here we go. It's kind of made of the same material as the strap. And you do have those holes. I'm not sure how well those will hold. Hopefully this strap is good. Because we are pegging it in there. Uh, I'm just gonna go all the way to the end. We can always adjust it, and we just gotta be careful putting this on. I'm really scared of uh, snapping this. It's one of those I kind of wish to give you an extra. It seems like that's gonna be the f thing that will rip. But here we go. 
So that's the uh, longest it can go. I mean, you have more straps here. All right. Uh, let's see how it links. It's gonna be here. Here we go. So I probably should have uh, went with a sh shorter uh, end, but for now. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go to the other side too. Yeah, it's also gonna matter depending on the size of the shoe. Alright, so here we go. I'll try to just balance this. Although I do need to have him hold this, so I'm just gonna emulate it. Just probably just go over the shield as if uh, he's holding it. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I think uh, that may be one of the problems with this one. It's the joint tends to just slide off. Possibly, I may need to just use the stand to go along with this. it's a matter of uh, balancing but yeah I think that looks great where's the, where's the thing there we go so uh, let me put him right there and um, let me I do have Levi let me try Levi on all right we got Levi and Link here Looking at the ratio with a horse, I think it's just about right. Horses are typically larger, or sometimes they're even bigger than this. So it works quite well. I really like how it's turning out. All right, so uh, next part, let's use the base and let's see if we can do the, when the horse is kind of goes up in the air on its hind legs. And yeah, let's just see if I can make that happen. <laughs> and that pretty much sums up the review for the Figma horses. And again, uh, this is a great addition. Whether you think of it as an added accessory or a companion to your Figma, it's really nice. Well worth uh, getting some of these. Now, in terms of price point, again, they're about 4,000 yen. At the, well, that was the suggested retail price. I'm looking at this probably around 50 bucks or even more since they're limited, but try not to pay more than that. <laughs> yeah, it's... Well, who knows they might get reissued again down the line and maybe they make more horses yeah definitely well worth getting especially for those who love horses uh, this is a great figure to have all right that's about it for the review and i think that's yeah if you have any other questions let me know and that's about it so until then this is meads thanks for watching